So now we will see how we can install dash to dock or get our dock back in GNOME 43. Just for it. So we will just get into Firefox and get to the repository. So we will first this. We will go to uh, dash to dock. So if you search this, uh, you will get. Let's see this. So you can get here, and this will give us a step-by-step -step guide on how to install this, as well as how what to download. So then we will need to get to the terminal, and then what we have to do is install a few things. So the first thing that we need to install is Git. So let's just update our repositories first. So Pacman dash s y y and there we go. Now our repositories are updated. Updated. So we clear this up. Then we do sudo pacman dash what the heck dash s. Then we do git and there we go. Now we have git. So, after you have git, uh, the thing that you need to install uh, the dash to dock is SASSC. So, we need to get that. So, we can just do sudo. Uh, first, let's see if we have like what uh, is available for us. So, let's just do sudo batman dash s. What the? My keyboard is freaking out. S. S and then if we do S A S S C, then uh, we can see that there is two versions of S A S S C. So first, let's do with this one. So uh, in here it says that it will try to install with this first, and then if it doesn't work, we can use this as well. So first, let's try with this. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see it is. So we can do is uh, sudo dash. Why the heck do I forget this? Dash s, and then if we do s a s s c, there you go. Now we have this. Let's clear this up. Then we can go to downloads. Like that's where I'll keep it. So let me just copy this command from here. Now this is why we needed that git. Where the heck did it go? Let's so shift V. Then it will clone into the dash to dark folder. So there we go. So if we do ls, you see there is our dash to dock uh, folder. So then what we will do is we will install this. So we copy this and then do what we should be. And there we go. Now this is installed. Okay. So now the reason why I said if this does not work. So if you don't know what after installing this, it should show up right here like this one the extensions folder it will show up right here so as you can see it is not showing up right now that's because we need to reboot our system so let's just close this let's close this and this and let's reboot there we go now let's just see if it came up so it did. So there we go. If we just enable this, there you have it. The dock is right there. And you can also customize it. There is a bunch of options that you can use to customize it. Uh, let's just see it here. What the heck? Let me move this. <laughs> That's really nice. Uh, so, um, 
if we get to appearance and if we change this to dynamic it will look a little bit better and now if there is a hell of a lot of options to customize this so you can like play around with it and see how this works so that's basically it like leave a like on the channel subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one